All right, in this tutorial here, I'm going to show you how you can take your beer labels and um, with mock-ups that I provide for you guys, you can create three-dimensional looks of your beer labels. So it's going to first start off with a, a general kind of mock-up here. And as you can see, we kind of applied a label to it. But, you know, the mock-ups are going to show up kind of generalized like this. And what you're doing is you're working with what they call over here on our layers. You're working with these smart object layers, meaning that this layer has um, distortions, lighting effects, text effects, all the kind of effects to make this look like way, the way we see it programmed into it so that whatever I place on here, uh, once I save it, it will then show up on here. It's not like a linked image. You know, if you link a photo into InDesign by file place, um, and then you go back to that photo and change it and save it and you go back to InDesign, you update the new image and then it updates in the InDesign file. So that's kind of how this works, except it's not file placing. It's a layer that's been created um, with effects and everything done to it. So what we would do is you're going to take your label, a PDF of your label, and uh, save it and then bring it into Photoshop and it's going to rasterize it. And we're only doing the fronts really. So once you have it opened up here in Photoshop, we're just going to crop out all the sides here because we're only dealing with the front of the label. Like so. And um, we're, just, we're going to, have to leave our background here. So I'm going to take, when you open up these um, mockups, you'll see some of the times the layers have like design here and stuff like that. You can turn the eyeballs off and you can see what it turns on and off. So right here it's saying this is where my label design, when I turn the eyeball off, that's my label. My design goes here. What you're going to want to do is double click on that little square for your smart object label to open up. And then it opens up like this. Now this particular mock-up is built uh, in terms of you can come in and you can change all of this to be what your layer is going to be, colors and all that kind of stuff. But we don't want any of that. We want our label. So I'm going to just turn all these off here so it's just empty. And I'm going to take my uh, layer here and close this out. I'm going to take my label, drag it into my layer here, and I'm going to put it way up at the top because I want it to supersede anything else. And I'm going to bring it down and we're gonna size this down so it fits better into my screen. So I'm making all my changes. And once I have it, we'll say that this is what I want on the front of my bottle. Uh, once I have it set up, I'm gonna go to File, Save. Not Save As, Save. Because I wanna save all these changes that I've done to the Smart Object layer and then when I click back onto my actual model, there it is. And if I don't like that, I can you know modify it further. So we'll say I'm gonna eye drop this color here, that yellow. I'm gonna create a layer underneath. And uh, we're gonna fill it, whoops. And we're gonna fill fill it with that color. And we'll save that. Command S, file save. And then when I go back to my bottle, it puts the whole thing on there. And so that's how you're going to create your mockups of your actual uh, beer labels using the mockup files that supply you in Photoshop. 